It's much quieter at this Richfield home on Stevens Avenue. You know, the sound of his uh, paws on the, the wood floor, the sound of his tags jingling around his neck, those two sounds gone from this house make it so silent. Marsha Malinowski lost Jersey. All she has left is a paw print in her living room and her photos. Him in his favorite spot. He loved getting pictures taken, I, I swear. <laughs> Jersey died earlier this month. It was horrible to go through. On October 4th, Marsha says Jersey was lethargic, started vomiting, and was not eating. She later noticed yellow skin on his belly and ears. She took him to Blue Pearl Pet Hospital in Eden Prairie. He tested positive for leptospirosis, which is something I never heard of in my life. By October 8th, the deadly disease consumed her beloved Wheaton Terrier. So any dog that goes outside has potential exposure. Dr. Ali Mazeppa at Blue Pearl says she has seen about a handful of dogs this month with leptospirosis, which could be because of wet weather. Bacterial infection common in wild animals, so the big ones in this area would be raccoons, possums, mice. They go to the bathroom and then dogs acquire it through ingesting typically contaminated water. Dr. Mazeppa says there is a vaccine which you can ask your vet about. So getting it in the spring provides pretty good coverage through the fall. And that is the message Marsha wants everyone to know. It took him everywhere. After losing Jersey. That it can kill your dog and there's a vaccination out there. In Richfield, Alex Hagan, Carol Evan News. Alex says humans can contract leptospirosis as well if they come in contact with contaminated water or soil. The signs are similar to flu symptoms, and we have more information on leptospirosis on our website, care11.com.